Jacob's now assembling the framework, as you can see from all them components we just cut. It's one of the frameworks that we've built already, all built with simple construction with butt joints, glue and screws. In order to help us make sure everything's aligned correctly and in the correct space, we use noggin spacers, the upper noggin spacer, uh, what else have we got there? Upright spaces. If you do that, you can't go too far wrong because then all those gaps and spaces are all going to be correct. When you come to do your cladding, you're going to know where your noggins are, where your uprights are. So if you need to screw anything onto there, you know exactly it's on 16 centers or whatever and you've done it with a spacer so you know it's right. We're using 100 mil screws for the main framework and then for the noggins, we're using 65 mil screws. Here you can see Jacob using the spacer for the uprights. Just be mindful of how I'm cutting the MDF so I get the best use out of the amount of sheets that I've got. So I'm gonna the first cut I'm gonna make is one meter high on the first sheet, and then with the off cut of that, it's actually gonna fit this space here. But it'll make sense as we go around. As you can see, we've almost finished adding all the MDF. We're just doing some trim pieces now to hide any parts of the framework. This central pillar here, that piece of MDF can't be added until we get to the property because this section and this section of the bar will be split into two. This is the frontage of the bar. And the first thing we're gonna look at is these three blocks here. These three blocks make the base of each pillar that we're gonna be making. In between the pillars, we have skating board. And then above here, these squares are made out of dado rail and they're gonna form the paneling. These pillars are 18 millimeter MDF. These small blocks at the bottom, which are 150 mil by 150 mil, are 24 mil MDF. And we're gonna put an OG molding on the top of these. The skating board is already made for us from the wood yard and they're just gonna fit in between there and that's 18 mil stock. The blocks on the outside are gonna be mitered as well as they go around the corner to the outside of the bar. The first thing we're going to be doing is making the small blocks which make the base of the pillars and we're going to be using this 24mm MDF. We've already run this through the table saw to the, to the correct dimensions, 150mm. But before we go over to the mitre saw and start cutting these to 150mm wide, what we're going to do is we're going to put the moulding on them first. I've already started doing the moulding and I've practised the depth that I want on the OG so I've raised it up slowly until I've got the desired pattern that I want. We're now moving on to the pillars which are attached to the plinths. These go round the corner we've got, and on anywhere the bar's got a join, which we'll show you when we move on later on. We've got a nice curve groove down each one, and this is the bit that we're going to be using. Hopefully you can see that okay there. We're going to be using that on the router table, and we've got the router table set up for the correct depth. We're going to do the centre one first, and then we're going to move the router table fence and do the outside pieces. Now I want to put a groove down each side of the board, left and right, now that we've got the centre one. So what I'm going to do is move the fence to the secondary line. I just square off just to make sure that I do stop at the correct place each time. Groove left and right now, and the good thing about this is all we have to do is place it down, do the groove, and then spin it over, place it down, do the groove, and then that'll be it, we'll have a groove on each side, we don't need to move the fence again. Yeah. 
Six of the pillars now need a 45 degree angle putting on because they're the ones that are going to go on the corners. And we're going to run it from top to bottom and then that way it's going to hide any MDF edges. Put plenty of glue on and especially on this 45 degree edge of the MDF. Plenty of glue on here. Don't want this getting knocked and uh, breaking. So we've got the tiniest of gap, less than a half a mil, less than a quarter of a mil probably. So all I'm going to do is bear over it with a screwdriver, just closing any little gap. That's perfect now. That's good. Then we'll have to fill all these brad holes with a bit of wood filler, ready for sanding and painting. I'm now attaching the dado rail for the panels. And I'm going to use this laser level, this Bosch one, I've got it on a camera tripod and when I set it back where I want it, so there's my pencil line there and the combination square and I've got the exact right angle plumb line, level line and all I have to do is place my dado rail onto there so I'll cut a 45 there, 45 at this side and my pencil mark which is here, glue and brad them on and I'll just work my way around doing that. The bar is out the workshop and we'll be able to give it a good tidy when we get back. Here it is in a van ready to go. We've got all these mats padding it out, just fits in. No room for tools though, so we're going to go take this down, unload it, and then come back for tools. I was going to show you was putting it in, but it was heavy. Right then, let's get on our way. But Jacob's on his phone again while I put it all in on my own. This is the bar on its test fit with the oak top on and as you can see looking pretty good. Paint work is going to get one more coat of white eggshell. Anywhere where you can see anything like this, this will disappear once we put the, the plinth and the pillar into position. We've got the uh, MFT set up here, the multi-function table which is an old crappy table. And our styles and the little evolution saw which comes in dead handy on little jobs like this Danish oil bottom first out here leave it to cure for a while over here and while that's happening I'm in here attaching the bar Uh, we just need to cut a hole here for the sockets because the fridges are going here so I'm going to cut it out with the multi-tool The bar's going right up against the wall so I'm just marking it's exactly where we want it now I'm just marking on the skating board we're going to use the multi-tool to remove a little bit of that A little bit on my nails, so it was stuck. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Calpo Woodcraft. I am using the Domino. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I <laughs> right. Anyway, I'll leave, I'll leave it in. Right. So we're using the Domino for the alignment of the weight top, and then we'll push it, clamp it, and push it all together nice and tight, and then screw it in from underneath on these parts here. I'm attaching all the extra posts and the plinths, the skating board, skating board attached there, again central plinth, pillar,
Jacob's just doing the touching up now. We're touching up any any little marks, any bits of filler. We've done all the corking. Everything's looking really good now. Almost there. Just applying this Danish oil now. Real simple finish. And it's also got a varnish in there as well. So when you add several coats of it over a few days, leaving secure in between each coat, you get a real nice build up of protection, which highlights the grain really nicely and gives that natural beauty. All completed. Looking good. A real nice crisp finish on everything. I'm happy with the design. I think it's everything the client wanted. I've not been able to show you everything we've done in the last couple of days while we've been doing this because obviously I'm trying to get the job done. But if you've got any questions or all like that, just ask me in the comments, I'll do my best to answer. Uh, I've left the client some Danish oil so she can apply a few more coats every couple of days while it cures. It is really cold in here, they need to get some heaters. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment. And there has been a few people say that they've not been made aware that the videos have been released. If you hit the notification bell, that'll help with that. Uh, hopefully YouTube should tell you then that the video has been released. And that's the end of the epic bar build. I'll take some photos now. And uh, thanks to all the Patreons and uh, for everyone who's watched. And I'll see you on the, the next one. Two. Three.